Well, back home, Queensland researchers are closer to developing new treatments and vaccines for malaria in the developing world. They're about to embark on trials by infecting human volunteers with the potentially deadly parasites. Locked away in this lab at the Queensland Institute of Medical Research are hundreds of potentially deadly malaria parasites stored at minus 200 degrees Celsius. There are five species of malaria and only one of them actually uh, is lethal. This was the only one that actually kills people and that's the one we're obviously concentrating on. Researchers are looking for volunteers willing to be infected with a small dose of the mosquito-borne parasite and treated with anti-malarial drugs before they become sick. It's obviously something that only some people will be interested in doing, but doing that they will be helping us develop uh, new treatments and vaccines for malaria, so there is an altruistic aspect to it as well. The team will study the volunteers' immune response. This enables us to test uh, upcoming drugs and vaccines and actually decide which ones are safe to take to malaria areas where people are, can be very unwell with malaria. Their target is the developing world. About a million people die from the disease each year. It's one of the UN Millennium Development Goals to halt the spread of malaria by 2015. Particularly children under five, you know, uh, are dying every day from this preventable disease. Red Cross International Health Advisor Deidre Ballinger has seen the impacts firsthand in Africa, Asia and the Pacific. A vaccine would be hugely beneficial to these communities. Um, however, we would still need to focus on prevention and raising awareness. The Queensland researchers hope their treatments may be available in a couple of years, but even then, aid workers say their work won't end there. Francine Norton, ABC News, Brisbane.